Hello, how to solve for x and y in this equation of x squared minus y squared is equal to 100, where x and y are member of natural number. Solution. Then here we have x squared minus y squared is equal to 100. This is in the form of perfect square. If you have m squared minus n square this is equal to m plus n bracket m minus n where m is equal to x and n equal to y and then we have s plus y bracket x minus y is equal to 100 then from here s plus y is greater than s minus y therefore here this is greater than this that is s plus y is greater than s minus y and this is equal to 100 so we need to get the product of this 100 100 is a product of one hundred multiplied by one and one multiplied by one hundred. Also we have fifty multiplied by two two multiplied by fifty. Then we have 25 multiplied by 4. Then 4 multiplied by 25. And we have 20 multiplied by 5. Then 5 multiplied by 20. And then multiply by 10. Now, here we said s plus y is greater than s minus y. 100 is greater than 1. This is accepted. 1 is less than 100. This is rejected. Also, 50 is greater than 2. This is accepted. 2 is less than 50. This is rejected. Here, 25 is greater than 4. This is accepted. 4 is less than 25. This is rejected. Now 20 is greater than 5, this is accepted. 5 is less than 20, this is rejected. And of course, here 10 is equal to 10, this is also rejected because x plus y must be greater than x minus y. Then we have how many cases here? One first case, second case, third case, and then fourth case. And our equation become x plus y bracket x minus y is equal to 100 multiplied by 1. Let's call this first case. Then we have x plus y is equal to this 100. This is equation 1. And x minus y is equal to this one this is equation two also from the second case here s plus y bracket s minus y is equal to 50 multiplied by 2 then s plus y is equal to 50 equation one and x minus y is equal to 2. This is equation 2. Then the third case. s plus y bracket s minus y is equal to 25 multiplied by 4. 
which is this, then s plus y is equal to 25 equation 1, x minus y is equal to 4. This is equation 2. Now, the fourth case, we have s plus y bracket s minus y is equal to 20 multiplied by 5. Now, s plus y is equal to 20. Equation 1, x minus y is equal to 5. This is equation 2. So, all these are simultaneous equations. We are going to solve them using elimination method to know which one is natural number or not. From the first case, we have the simultaneous equation s plus y equal to 100. This is equation 1. Then s minus y is equal to 1. This is equation 2. We can solve this using elimination method by adding the two equations together. S plus S, this is 2X plus Y minus Y, this is 0, is equal to 100 plus 1, this is 101. Now let's divide both sides by 2. This divided by 2, this we cancel this. S is equal to 101 divided by 2. And of course, this is not a natural number, it is rejected. Now, we've got the value of x. Let's solve for y using either equation 1 or 2, but I'm going to make use of this equation 2. To solve for y, from this equation 2, x minus y equal to 1. Now we have 101 divided by 2 minus y equal to 1. Now, this is, if you multiply all through by 2, we have 101 minus 2y equal to 2. Then, we have minus 2y is equal to 2 minus 101. Minus 2y is equal to minus 99. Now, let's divide both sides by minus 2. Divided by minus 2, this will cancel this. Minus will cancel minus. Y is equal to 99 divided by 2. And this is also not a natural number. It is rejected. Let's consider the second case. From second case, we have S plus y is equal to 50. This is equation 1. Then x minus y is equal to 2. This is equation 2. Let's solve this equation using elimination method by adding the two equations together. s plus s, this is 2x. This we cancel this. is equal to 50 plus 2. That is 52. Now, let's divide both sides by 2. Divided by 2. This will cancel this. 2 here, 1. 25, 2. In 12, 6. Therefore, S is equal to 26. And of course, this is a natural number. It is accepted. We've got the value of x. Let's solve for y using either equation 1 or 2. But let me make use of this equation 2 also. To solve for y, we have x minus y is equal to 2. Then when s is 26, this is 26 minus y is equal to 2. We have minus y is equal to 2 minus 26. 
minus y is equal to minus 24. Now, y is equal to 24. And of course, this is also a natural number. It is accepted. Now, let's consider the third case. From the third case, s plus y is equal to 25. Then, x minus y is equal to 4. This is equation 1. And this is equation 2. Let's solve this equation together using elimination method by adding the two equations. Then here, s plus s, 2x, this will cancel this, is equal to 25 plus 4. This is 29. Now let's divide both sides of this equation by 2, divided by 2. This will cancel this. S is equal to 29 over 2. And this is not a natural number. It is rejected. So we've got the value of x. Let's solve for y using either 1 or 2. To solve for y, then we have s minus y equal to 4. This is the equation 2. When s is 29 over 2, we have 29 divided by 2 minus y is equal to 4. Let's multiply all through by 2. We have 29 minus 2y is equal to 8. Now we have minus 2y is equal to 8 minus 29. Minus 2y is equal to minus 21. Then y is equal to 21 over 2 and this is not a natural number it is also rejected now let's consider the fourth case from the fourth case we have x plus y is equal to 20 and x minus y is equal to 5. If you add the two equations together, s plus s, this is 2x is equal to, this will cancel this, 20 plus 5, this is 25. Let's divide both sides by 2, divided by 2, this will cancel this. s is equal to 25 divided by 2. So, this is not a natural number. It is also rejected. Now, we've got the value of S. Let's solve for Y using 1 or 2. Let me make use of equation 2. To solve for Y, S minus Y is equal to 5. When S is 25 over 2, we have 25 over 2 minus y is equal to 5. Then this is 25 minus 2y is equal to 10. Minus 2y is equal to 10 minus 25. Minus 2y is equal to minus 15. Then y is equal to 15 divided by 2 and this is not a natural number it is also rejected the only natural number we have in this solution is s comma y is equal to 26 comma 24 so this is the only natural number we have S is 26 and Y is 24, which satisfy the, the given problem. So let's check to confirm if this answer is true or not. To check, 
we have the given equation s square minus y square is equal to 100 when s is 26 and y is 24 we have 26 square minus 24 square must be equal to 100 26 square this is 6 76 minus 24 square this is 576 must be equal to 100 676 minus 576 this is 100 is equal to 100 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye